Richard Ledger. We farm um, near Dover in Kent. We're about four and a half thousand acres. Minimal labour, minimal machines, but um, all arable cropping. The last 20 years we've had now 10 Lexian different combines, the size growing all the time as the acres have gone up, um, starting with straw walker ones going through to hybrids and now on a 780. We're not baling straw so it's all going through the chopper. Um, the, when we moved from straw walkers to hybrid we felt that we were getting a better chop, better spread, although that can always be improved. Losses should have gone down uh, and the performance has kept up with the acres that we've always had under our belt. We moved away from wheels to tracks in 2001. Uh, some of it was for manoeuvrability down the road, going through villages, we're getting many more parked cars we couldn't get through, but we could get through um, being on tracks. There's also the benefit of it being in the field, which makes the ride better, the header works better. Uh, we've always tried to, always wanted to stick with one combine, just finding operators to drive them, more corn carters, more, more mani much more management needed with two combines than one, um, and one, op one good operator on a good combine has always managed to get through the workload. Moving to a hybrid to begin with, we found that under certain conditions it was smashing up the straw too much and overloading the sieves. Since um, going to the Evo 480s, we were able to have variable speed on the rotors without having to swap belts, which was quite a, a challenge, and it certainly has improved performance and reduced losses. Moving from the 480 to the 600 uh, gave us a bigger grain tank, so with the wider headers we could get further through the field without unloading. Um, the jet stream gave us a better sample, kept the sieves clean. Uh, and more power again, uh, sp spreading the straw, it's just a definite improvement over the 480. Uh, we were fairly early going into a, having a 12 metre header. Um, we didn't have um, satellite steering then and it made opening up and, and keeping the, the header full easier for the operator by following the tram lines. We've now gone to full RTK steering so that that problem is done away with but we are getting a lot less wheelings by going to 12 metre header. With the latest uh, 700s that we've had, with the improved cooling pack on the engine, we've no had a noticeable difference in the amount of downtime we've had in, in cleaning out the air cleaner. They've gone um, more than a day without having it done, kept nice and cool. The engine keeps cleaner, less of a problem. Um, and then moving to um, CMOS Auto has made it life so much easier for the operator and setting it up and getting the best sample.